The bell rang, signifying a new beginning for Kenya's investors. A unique bond, Lindsay Sukuk, has been introduced. The launch, spearheaded by President William Ruto, ushers in Kenya's first Sharia-compliant bond, the Lindsay Sukuk, on the Nairobi Securities Exchange, NSC, and quoted securities platform USP. A very momentous occasion as we introduce the first Sharia-compliant financial product to the Kenyan exchange. Today we are again demonstrating our capability and the depth of our market through the listing of the first Sharia compliant product opening a new avenue for raising capital for government and for the private sector. Unlike traditional bonds, a Sukuk bond prohibits payment of interest. Instead, Sukuk bonds provide investors with a share of the profits generated by the underlying assets. However, the president says a robust regulatory framework needs to be put in place. I ask our financial regulators to collaborate with the national, treasury and Islamic finance stakeholders to develop a robust regulatory framework that will support the growth of Islamic finance in Kenya, which has tremendous potential to unlock our investment resources and boost our economy. The Islamic security valued at 3 billion shillings is set to finance the development of affordable housing units, addressing the critical need for affordable houses in the country, as emphasized by the head of state. Our security forces will benefit from the housing that is going to be constructed using the resources that we are raising using this Sukuk bond. By directing investments towards the construction of over 3,000, I repeat again, over 3,000 affordable residential units for the Kenya Defense Forces, this Sukuk directly addresses a pressing national challenge. In the first quarter of the year, according to Frank Lloyd Mwiti, the NSC CEO, foreign investors were net buyers of equities listed on the NSC, marking the first half year of recorded foreign net inflows in the bowels since 2019. Current government policies have enabled the capital markets in Kenya and the NSC in particular to witness a remarkable recovery that has put our country, Kenya, back on the map and attracted solid positive attention from global and institutional uh, retail investors. Meanwhile, questions on how to de-risk the housing fund arose, as well as ways to build tools to expand the market so that small and medium enterprises can participate. How can we help P.S. Inga and his team at the State Department of Housing to scale the housing agenda and de-risk our housing fund. According to experts, the growing interest in attracting Islamic financing is well-founded. First, debt is becoming an increasingly politicized issue in Africa, with critics highlighting the risks of excessive dependence on China and the West. <laughs> Linda Koskei, K24 TV.